Welcome to the Buzz Center from the Bio 2013 convention. I'm Dr. Moira Gunn. I host Biotech Nation, a part of Tech Nation on National Public Radio. And you can hear it on, on NPR.org, the 24-hour program stream, four times a weekend in various other places. We're thrilled to be here. We record here every year. And now we have the Buzz Center. That's really exciting for us. And today I'm talking with Paul Hastings. It's Dr. Paul Hastings, right? No, it's not Dr. Paul. It's not a doctor? <laughs> oh, it's a mister, but he, I'm going to give you an honorary doctorate just from Biotech Nation. <laughs> uh, Paul is the president and CEO of Oncomed Pharmaceuticals, and he's also chair of the Emerging Companies Committee on the executive committee of the Biotechnology Industry Association. Now, Paul, first of all, remind everybody, what does Oncomed Pharmaceuticals do? Oncomed is a seven-year-old privately funded venture-backed company. Um, I can't talk a lot about what we're doing because we have an S1 on file, but we are... If you're lucky, you'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> and but we, good. Are, we are developing uh, antibodies that are targeted at cancer stem cells, or the cells that are responsible for the growth and metastasis of tumors. Um, we have five drugs in various stages of clinical development at the moment, and we're very excited to be here. Well, you just have to go back and, and Google him and all the news, and you'll see. You just follow it right down. This is really an exciting... A pattern, if you were a template, for how you go out and you develop a biotech company. Now, of the things I do want to talk to you about is, first of all, let's talk about this emerging company sector. What, what does that do? So the emerging company section of, of bio is the section of the bio board that has all the young companies that are emerging. So we're not quite um, uh, profitable yet. We're still in the development stages. That's the majority of the bio membership. So it's all the from startup to phase two, phase three, clinical development type companies. Is it true that your motto is, we have no valley of death? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we, well, I was just talking about, someone just asked me about the venture community, and, yeah. I, and I'm optimistic, I really am. I think it's, uh, I think we, we go through cycles, and I think we're in a cycle now that um, is gonna see itself emerge, uh, and, and I think we're, we're all gonna come out of this in a, in, a, in a very good place. What about just starting out companies, brand new? Is that tough these days? It's tough these days. It's not impossible. It's harder than it was. Uh, most things don't get easier, and this is not easier. Um, but finding angel investors, finding venture capitalists to fund early stage companies, it's hard. Um, once we go through this cycle where the, now we've seen the public markets are accepting of companies, and those companies become or transform from being a small company to a mid-stage company, and then the mid-stage companies become large companies, then there's going to be a supply and demand issue where there's no supply of small, innovative startup companies. People will begin to fund them. Uh, in the meantime, they will continue to fund just the really, um, the folks that can really do a good pitch and sell themselves to the venture community because the venture community has a little bit less money than they used to to start these companies up. For sure. Now, Paul and I, of course, are both from California, so we're very interested in ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about California and the initiatives that are going on there. Well, one of the things we're doing, uh, so the, the bio affiliate in California, Bay Bio, or the Bay Area bio affiliate, um, Bay Bio, uh, and Bio, we're all working on providing access to clinical trials for patients yeah. faster. And the California initiative has just begun, the California Health or Life Science Initiative has just begun, where we're actually um, working with universities and institutions in California, not just university institutions, but also healthcare um, uh, corporations, if you will, to be able to provide access to patients faster for phase one, two, and three clinical trials by doing these, or setting up these universal or common IRB approaches, where instead of each institution having an IRB that you have to go through, or an institutional review board to review your clinical trial design, there could be one centralized IRB when that people could belong to, and that one IRB would approve the clinical trial for a bunch of different sites. That would keep California competitive with the rest of the world so that we can actually do all of our clinical trials, or as many as we want, there. And so the whole cluster, not just the biotech companies, but the healthcare institutions, the Stanford's and the Kaiser's and the, and the Sutter Healthcare Systems and the Sequoia Healthcare Systems can all take part in being a part of the clinical trial network. And with the end result of getting patients' drugs faster. 
whether it's through clinical trials or getting them through the clinical trial process to the back end and approval. In a sense, that shows the, the maturity of what's going on. It used to be bio clusters, you know, where we get the innovation, and how do we start up, and what's going to happen. Now it's like, wait a minute, we can make it happen. Now we may need to make a bio cluster that means we're everything. How do we get it all the way and deliver it? Absolutely. I mean, we're, you know, if you look state to state today, we're all in an economic crunch, and so we have to help each other. And so we want, the, the, this, these institutions are where we come from. They transfer the technology to us uh, that we turn into a biotechnology company. So if we're going to do clinical trials, it'd be great to be able to do them in the institutions from where we came from. And in order for them to be competitive, being part of this consortium allows them to be. So they can compete with some of these commercial organizations that get IRB approval quickly. So it's all about um, supporting our state, supporting our cluster, but, but I'm in favor of doing this in every state. We're not doing this in California to beat somebody else. We're doing this in California to lead and show other people that this can be done. It can be done. If it can be done here, it can be done anywhere. That's right. That's right. Now I'm going to ask you one last question. You have had great days. You've had bad days. You've been slugging it out for a long time. You've had tremendous successes. You've had, now you're, you know, you got the S1 here. There are entrepreneurs watching on every level, every part of the bioenterprise, and they're going to have the same thing. But everybody gets up in the morning, you get in the shower, you're all alone. Most of the time you're all alone, I assume. Well, who knows? But when you are all alone in the shower, um, and it's like it all, you're there, and it's like it's all coming to you. I get the rest of my day. What do you say to yourself to get you through the day the right way so it's a better day and the enterprise is better? Uh don't give up, and when you look in that mirror, at the end of the day, I want to know that I did everything I could to help my company, to help our cluster, to help biotechnology, to continue to innovate, because I am a junkie on innovation. I just love what we do, and I wouldn't do anything else. Paul, thank you so much. Thank you, Moira. Paul Hastings, <laughs> President and CEO of Oncomed. I'm Moira again. This is the Buzz Center. Thank you.